Hi, welcome to the New York State Skinny, brought to you by the New York State Association of Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Most local markets continued to recover from a soft patch earlier this year. The macro trend is still positive, but the micro trend can fluctuate. This is not uncommon in a rebalancing market. Metrics to watch include inventory and prices, but also month supply and percent of list price received at sale. Pending sales were fairly flat, down just 1.5% from August 2013 to 10,241 for the month. Percent changes that small indicate stability. While the number of homes for sale was lower than last year, many are still finding more homes on the market that meet their needs. Inventory levels market-wide were also down 1.5% to 94,366 units. But the mix of move-in ready homes is likely better than it has been in years. Prices continued to rise. The median sales price increased two-tenths of a percent to $239,000. Prices are dictated partly by supply and demand forces, but they're also based on what's available for sale and consumer preferences. Month supply of inventory was down 4.6% to 10.4 months. Ultimately, less than five months of supply is consistent with seller's markets, while more than six months generally indicates a buyer's market. Sellers accepted a higher share of their asking price compared to last year. Percent of list price received at sale rose to 96%. Sustained job growth, lower mortgage rates, and a rise in inventory appear to have unleashed at least some pent-up demand nationally. Since housing relies heavily on an economy producing good jobs, it's encouraging to see second quarter GDP growth revised upwards to a 4.2% annualized rate, as well as solid job growth. Further improvements are still needed by way of higher wages and consumer confidence, but recovery does continue. That's the New York Skinny for this month. Check back next month for the latest.